I'm Lori Sen. I'm a medical oncologist from the British Columbia Cancer Agency in Vancouver. Dr. Sen is the coordinating editor of the update on Hodgkin Lymphoma Blood Review Series. The review series in Hodgkin Lymphoma is actually remarkably timely. There is a lot happening in Hodgkin Lymphoma that's really changing the current standard of care. The current series brings together a number of articles that are going to look at Hodgkin lymphoma from all aspects. So importantly, we've got one article that will look at the biological advances in our understanding of Hodgkin lymphoma. The biology of Hodgkin lymphoma is very complicated. We know that uh, there's a lot of heterogeneity between patients. And of course, you know, it, it's going to be really important moving forward to understand how patients are biologically different. Now that there are a wider number of treatments available, we really want to know which patients are going to benefit from which treatments. So what we'll learn in the current article, looking at the biological updates in Hodgkin lymphoma, is really what tools we might have now to measure these differences between patients, how we might prognosticate between patients, understand from the very beginning what patient is going to do well with our standard therapy, what patient may be less likely to do well, and that is the first step that we need in being able to create clinical trials that base different treatment strategies based on different levels of risk. In addition to the article looking at the biological aspects of Hodgkin lymphoma, then we've got a number of articles tackling aspects of clinical care. So not all patients with Hodgkin lymphoma walk in with the same amount of disease, and strategies are really um, modified according to the stage of disease. So we've got uh, one article that tackles how to manage patients with limited stage Hodgkin lymphoma, and another article looking at the advanced stage patient. These are generally approached with two different points of view, because partly patients with limited stage Hodgkin lymphoma have remarkable outcomes today with our standard of care. And the real challenge is how to maintain these outcomes by trying to reduce the toxicity because we know that although they've got a very high look likelihood of cure of their lymphoma, they also are at big risk for succumbing to delayed toxicities that can really impact their quality of life and even their longevity. For advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma, that also poses another challenge. While some patients can do very well with our current standard. Unfortunately, still a fair proportion, so about 20 to 30 percent of patients will ultimately relapse and need to go on to secondary therapies. For patients who fail their front line of therapy, of course, if they're young enough, they usually go down the route of very intensive therapy with a stem cell transplant. But patients who fail stem cell transplant or who are too old for a stem cell transplant really need to be thinking about alternative modes of therapy. So the article by Dr. Bartlett will focus on just that subgroup of patients, patients who are no longer curable with our known therapeutic options and really need to explore novel approaches. The exciting aspect of Hodgkin lymphoma today is that there are novel targeted therapies that have been recently approved and others that are undergoing evaluation that are really making a difference for these patients. So both uh, Brentuximab Vidotin, which is a um, targeted drug immunoconjugate, which is frequently used in the relapse refractory setting, but now recently tested in the upfront setting as well in the Echelon 1 trial has been a very important drug for Hodgkin lymphoma, and more recently, immunotherapy, and namely in the form of checkpoint inhibitors, has had a remarkable impact on patient outcomes. So it's been a fairly exciting time. We've seen a lot of change, new drug development that really is impacting patient care, and these articles really run through the data as it exists and try and you know put it all together in terms of you know, where care is going for Hodgkin lymphoma. I think this series on Hodgkin lymphoma will be of broad interest to our readers. Hodgkin lymphoma is still a very commonly encountered hematologic malignancy. Although there's been huge strides made in Hodgkin lymphoma, it's still a very challenging lymphoma to treat. It's important for all hematologists to be up to date on these advances. Um, and certainly we look forward to future advances coming out as well.
Please find this review series and other blood content on bloodjournal.org. This presentation is copyrighted by the American Society of Hematology.